Major. Will you just sit here, sir? Just a couple of civilians now, Sam. Mary sent for you? Well, she shouldn't have done that. Taking you away from your work and putting you to all this trouble and expense. Did you see her? Yeah. You must have done some pretty fast talking to get a girl like that to marry you. Did she show you young Sam? Yes, yeah, she did. Quite a boy. Too bad he looks so much like old Sam. <laughs> Yeah, I did it all right, Major. I killed him. In self-defense? Well, that's what they're going to plead. But you don't have to worry about me, Major. Mr. Beamish tells me that I've got the best man in the country. Yes, that's what he told me this morning. It was Lawrence who had the gun, wasn't it? Oh, yes, he had the gun, all right. He'd have blown me head off, too. That's not what people think. They, they think I stopped at our house and got the gun, did him in. Did anyone see you go into Lawrence's rooms without the gun? No. Well, no one who will admit they did, anyway. What do you mean by that? Well, it's a bit hard to explain. You're going to have to explain it, Sam. Well, you see, when I was struggling with Lawrence, we crashed into the bedroom door. I heard a noise behind me, like a gasp. You heard a gasp? Did you see anything? Well, no, Lawrence grabbed the gun, I had my hands full. And the gun went off. Who was in that bedroom, Sam? Well, I don't know, I heard footsteps running. I... I heard the bedroom window open. I rushed in, but she'd gone. She? Why she? Because I knew Lawrence. I knew if he had anyone there at that time... Well, he's dead and gone anyway. 